I might just delete all of these because I don't even know why they're here. I don't know what that one is. Plano, like to know. You know what? We're just gonna skip that. What is this? Sometimes I feel like, oh, I don't have enough ingredients. I don't know what to make. Let me just go order McDonald's. Okay, so next we have like my fitness apps and all that stuff because you know, you girls trying to get slimmy, thick, thick, thick for the summer. Okay, because summer bodies are ready in the winter, period. Let's not pay attention to any of the offloaded apps, okay? I need that space real bad because I am filming and editing crazy, okay? So whenever I need an app, I just reinstall it. But whenever I need space, I just offload it, okay? <laughs> okay. Hey guys, it's me, Denisha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you guys already seen down below by the title, today we are doing a what's on my iphone i'm excited it's my first time filming one of these and i see it going all around youtube so yeah you know you're gonna have to join in on the little trendy trend we're not gonna make this intro long so let's get right on into the video so let me go ahead and start screen recording for you guys okay so this is what i have for my home screen i love the ios 16 update on my iphone the good thing about ios 16 is that you can have multiple lock screens so this is just one of them i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the rest that i have this is the first one. It says, I declare that this new year will bring me the right people and opportunities in order for me to achieve my dreams, which is very much true. And I believe this. So this is one of them. The second one is just like a blue basic. It's my favorite color. The moon. And then we have one that's like peachy pinky color. The one that you guys seen just now. Then the next one I have is another like motivational thing. This one's on rotation. So it shows a bunch of different ones. So it says, you're getting distracted again. You got dreams to chase, not people to impress. Wake up. And then if I click customize and go here like it has a bunch of like motivational quotes just right there and it's on rotation and the last one i have is just pictures that i took myself and it's just photos that i took of like outside in the city nature all that stuff okay so this is the first page i have on my phone so up here we have the calendar then we have gmail next is tiktok maps notion water reminder i have a tiktok block if i just click on any of these they open up down here is a, also a widget and this widget is just like app suggestion so i don't choose it it's like whatever iphone thinks i'm using like the most at the time so right now they have whatsapp tiktok gmail youtube genie packages youtube studio and notes there is my phone number you know ring ling ling don't call my line though <laughs> messages then we have settings and safari okay so this is like the first page and this is the page that i use like the absolute most with all my apps everything so up here we have tiktok first you know you got a little tiktoker <laughs> you got a little tiktoker and then next we have instagram and then we have youtube of course snapchat these are like my four like, i feel like main social media apps that i usually go on but the thing about like instagram and snapchat is that i feel like i don't even talk to people on there like that anymore like i don't even post on snapchat to be honest i just have it if i text people here and there and honestly i just use it for memories at this point like i do not use it for any other function really and then even instagram like i just use it to post on my instagram stories now which if you're not following my instagram you need to go ahead and follow me right now okay i feel like for instagram i probably just like post my pictures and go like i didn't i do not use these apps to really talk to people okay like i don't even know i feel like i'm in like D, &D ghost mode as of recently all right and then we have pinterest which like if you honestly if you don't have pinterest on your phone like what are you doing like that is just so good there's like quotes aesthetic photos there's just so many things you can do with pinterest honestly and i love pinterest and it's so useful and so helpful we have business so this is just like a bunch of apps related to business or money i have fiverr i used to use this for like ugc content which i don't really do that much anymore but that's what i used to use that for but they definitely scamming on that app okay i know you can get some really good deals on their vibes where these people are really trying to like underball you okay so i don't mm -mm. it was not really it then we have upward and then we have this i don't even know what this is i'm not even gonna lie i definitely do have a lot of random stuff on my phone so if you really thought this video was about to be like oh like almost super aesthetic like no 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 this is not the video like some things are organized but for the most part it's just like girl i have so many random apps on my phone and this is why i don't have space okay and that's why a lot of them are offloaded okay i need space on my phone all right um this is clever i guess this is just like one of them like influencer sort of apps i don't even use this so you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and delete it <laughs> it doesn't need to be here all right, and next we have Influi. That's also just something for like UGC. Then HoneyBook. This is really good for creating invoices or making a contract. Lumanu, same thing, contract. PayPal, that's how I get like money from brands, stuff like that. That's the only reason I use PayPal. Influencer, which is really good. Like you can get like free products so you don't even have to be an influencer for that. And then expenses. This is just to see what you're spending. Y'all, it's really all these apps being offloaded for me. DocuSign, really good for signing any documents online. Whenever I have something that I need to sign, I just use DocuSign. Then we have Afterpay, which y'all, <laughs> the way 
I'd be late to them after pay payments, y'all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I just don't even use it at this point. And then we have Wealth Simple. I really need to get into the like investing, business, all that stuff. So it's on my phone. One day I'll learn about it, okay? One day. So it's just there for one day. The next app I have is Packages. Your girl loves to get packages all the time. If I don't have packages on the way, it's just like, what am I doing? You know, like anytime I get packages from like anywhere, I just put it into this app. Right now I don't have anything on the way, which is actually kind of crazy but yeah i will just like click the plus button add the tracking number add the title and then it'll like track everything let me know when it's on the way just like any updates all in one place then we have td canada you know my banking which i love td by the way like i feel like td is such a good banking account like i really love it if not td then scotia bank you know then we have the camera app which <laughs> wrong way you know all right, so next we have photos, you know, just all my photos, everything. That's basic, okay? And then the next app we have is Awit. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, honestly. But that's just an app that I use for my camera, like my doorbell camera. So, like, if anyone tries to come out of the door, that's how like, we catch these people stealing the packages. Because I see them on camera, and I don't know if they think that it's just a doorbell. It literally has a big camera on there with a doorbell. But I don't know if they just think it's a doorbell because they stay being shysty and still trying to teeth my packages when it's just like there is a whole camera and you want to act like like what or these people you know how people like run into people's doors and be like doing like nikki nikki nine dog they be ringing the doorbell and running like i can see you and i can hear you planning your 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 escape and i can see you like what is you doing i just don't know what these people are doing but yeah it has like motion tracking so i can get like a notification if, if someone comes by the door and like yeah i can see them and i've seen some crazy stuff on this camera like it's kind of insane i don't even know like i seen a kid jump up and then the light fell down i don't know it's just insane honestly and i see kids fighting like it's crazy you know, i don't know what they're doing outside my door Okay, so the next app is for editing. Now, if you're a content creator, you might want to take some notes because, like, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of good gems in here. Okay, so for editing, I pretty much have, like, every single thing that I, like, use to edit. So first we have Velo. It's a great editing app, you know, period. And then we have Pixar and Fonto. These two apps are great for thumbnails. I use, like, Pixar as to, like, put my collage photos together. So if there's, like, four or three photos, I'll use Pixar. And then if I want to put, like, text on my photo then i use fonto especially since you can use um an app to import your own fonts that's not already in here so that's really cool um next is rumini this is a really good app if you want your quality of your photos to look better let's say something that's kind of blurry it'll make it more clear and just like look more hd um i don't pay for it so i just have to watch ads but honestly it's worth it um next we have preview this is really good for instagram you can just pretty much plan out your photos and you can see what it looks like on your feed next is snapseed that's just really good for like editing stuff as well maybe like removing backgrounds all that sort of stuff later is really good for planning um instagram posts again but this time you can schedule them in advance me too e or me too i don't really use this app but i know it has like some really cool editing on there the next app i have is mojo i just recently downloaded this because i wanted some really cute like instagram story templates just for like when i promote my youtube video because listen if you have a youtube channel or if you have like any sort of channels or business and you're not promoting on your social media you need to go ahead like do not think that you're annoying people or anything you have to be your biggest promoter okay so i be promoting myself every time i used to be scared but i'm not anymore okay i'm not because it doesn't make sense I love my videos and I'm really proud of them. I'm going to promote it on my social media, period. So I just downloaded this app, Mojo. It has like some pretty cool templates, but I might be searching for a little bit more because I want to post like them cute, cool templates, you know? And then next we have, I don't even know. I might just delete all these because I don't even know why they're here. Televisor, I think that was good for downloading music, but I do not use that. I don't even think an app works, honestly. Music download, I don't even use that. I don't know if it works, honestly. <laughs> just have it here. Maybe it does. Maybe I should see if it works. It honestly okay yeah no I think this does work okay so this is just to download music then there's the fonts this is where you can go to find all your fonts by the way these are like websites that I saved on my homepage so did y'all know you could do that maybe you did but basically you just go to like this button right there and then you click um add to home screen that button right there and then it'll add to home screen so if you didn't know that and you have like your favorite website you want to add it to your home screen. You can do that. So yeah. And then we have Templi. This is like another app for Instagram stories, all that stuff. And then Face app. The last one that's on my phone. I don't use it for Instagram. Okay. Next we have some self-care. So we have the health app, which is from 
iPhone, you know. Then we have Clue, that is a period tracking app. Period. Okay, gotta know, gotta know, we gotta know what's going on down there. Next we have Headspace. I really like this app. Honestly, I should probably offload it. I mean, reinstall it, because it's offloaded right now. Let's not, just not, let's not pay attention to any of the offloaded apps, okay? I need that space real bad, because I am filming and editing crazy, okay? So whenever I need an app, I just reinstall it, but whenever I need space, I just offload it, okay? <laughs> okay? So, yeah, I mean, have Headspace is really good for, like, meditation, all that stuff. That has really helped me when I was, like, feeling stressed and all that stuff. And then we have Reflect, Reflectly. This is really good just for, honestly, I think it's, like, a note-taking app. So it's kind of like a journal. You can just write in there digitally. Next, we got Gmail, Credit Karma, go for tracking your credit all that stuff. CapCut, because I use that to like edit my TikTok sometimes. Then we have shopping. I don't even have that much shopping on my phone because I'm not trying to like be shopping 24 seven, but I have Sephora, Urban Planet, and Pretty Little Thing. And then I don't know why Shein is in analytics. Actually, let me just go ahead and move Shein over to shopping. <laughs> let's, just, let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, as I said, everything's not perfect. This is not aesthetic. This is realistic, okay? So analytics, um, we have YouTube Studio, which if you don't have YouTube Studio and you are a YouTuber wanting to be a content creator, you need to go ahead and download this app. It's almost like if you wanted to be a YouTuber and you don't have YouTube. Like, I feel like it's really important to have this app. It's just to check all your analytics, see how your posts are doing. You can see, like, your top 10 ranking of all the videos you're posting, your click-through rate, your comments. You get notifications for your comments, all that stuff. So, if you don't have the app, just go ahead and download it, okay? Next, we have YouTube Tracker. This is really good if you're trying to get monetized. It'll let you know, like, how many watch hours you need and how much subscribers you need to pretty much, like, get there. So, it'll track it for you. But I feel like it's good for that reason. Other than that, you pretty much have to, like, pay for, like, every other thing. And I don't use it because, honestly, you can just find them in YouTube Studio. Doted and the AiriCam. This is just really good if you want to, like, take your own photos, basically. Um, but I feel like the app that I would recommend for that is just, like, Lens Buddy. So, yeah, if you want to take your own photos. Next, we have Entertainment. So I just have Twitch and I also have Netflix. Over here at the top we have Notion. I have to sign in to continue, so I should sign in. But I, I usually use Notion on my computer, so yeah. But we have Notion, then we have Lyft, then we have WhatsApp, which I don't even use like that. I literally only use this to text my family. And I don't even know why, like, do Caribbean parents not use any other app but WhatsApp? I swear they don't use, like, regular messages to message you. Like, I'm now thinking about that. Every single time I message my mom, it's in WhatsApp. Like, it's never, like, in messages, which is so crazy to me. Like, I don't, I can count how many times on my finger that I've used messages to message my mom so next we have the app store and then we got presto i feel like it's really good to have the presto app on your phone because you can like check your balance you can reload it it's real good to have on your phone and then we have the notes apps love the notes app like oh my god wait i forgot to talk about this app back here we're just gonna go back real quick we run that back so we have the i am app i love this app it just basically gives you these notifications and it's like motivational so this one's just like i realized that happiness has been inside me all this time i just had to change the way i think which is really true in my last video i was just talking not my last video but in my recent videos i was just talking about how your mindset is really important and all that stuff it always sends a quote that corresponds with what i'm going through at that time and i just love that for me because i just like yes i resonate you feel me i don't know how they do it but they just know and i love this app so much so much anyways next okay then we have like my school i'm just gonna blaze through this folder real quick because it ain't like it's just school so docs okay speechify this is really good if you don't want to read you just wanted to speak out loud perfect zoom um i have this just in case my computer ain't working for some reason i don't have like my card for school yet i need to take my photo but i just use this to get into the gym because it has like a digital thing of my car then we have canon print if you wanted to like print a document from your phone this is really good to have then calculator this is just like a communications book that i need for my class and we have google drive and notion next we have the calendar we have this countdown app which i'm actually going to reinstall because i want to count down until my birthday <laughs> <laughs> then we have genie this just basically controls my lights so if i want to like change my lights to a different color turn it off lights off lights on if i don't want to tell alexa you know it's right there 
Then we got the clock, FaceTime, which is so interesting because I never open the FaceTime app. Like anytime I want to FaceTime someone, I'll literally just go into my phone app. I never click on FaceTime for like any reason. Like, and then we got Amazon. I'm on Amazon 24-7. Like, what am I ever not on Amazon? And now that I'm thinking about Amazon, I'm just thinking about all the things that I want to purchase on Amazon. Like, it is crazy. I couldn't imagine life without Amazon. I always use Amazon, which is why I have my Amazon favorites linked down below because I use Amazon 24-7. Okay, so next we have like my fitness apps and all that stuff because you know you girls trying to get slimmy thicky thick thick for the summer okay because summer bodies are ready in the winter so this is basically just like a whole fitness page here we have my plate app is amazing for like tracking calories so you can track your breakfast lunch dinner and snack and then you can put in your weight and your water intake and then based on your exercise it'll let you know how many calories you burn and it's really good because all you have to do is like open up this barcode and you just like scan a barcode and yeah it's not gonna scan my vaseline but you know what i mean <laughs> all right so next we have we fast this is just really good i i was using it when i was first studying intermediate fasting then we have recipe generator i thought this was really cool sometimes i feel like oh i don't have enough ingredients i don't know what to make let me just go order mcdonald's like that's how i felt but i feel like you always pretty much have something to make so you just put in any ingredients you have in your house and it'll let you know what foods you can make so i think that's super helpful the next app i have is very fit i got a watch from amazon and and this app is basically for that just connected to that next we have the water reminder it's just a widget to let me know how much water i drink today <laughs> i did not drink any water it's just a my plate widget so i can just visually see how much macronutrients i have for each thing without actually clicking the app and then down here we have the fitness watch or like the fitness app widget so it'll just let me know how much steps i took in my distance and all that stuff so over here i feel like we're moving on to the sections that i literally do not use like that over here we have the clock but it also has reminders photos um it also has notes um what's this and then siri suggestions but we have spotify and then we have audio mac which i also just use for music we have the voice memo apps my bell app um so you know i can pay my bills then we have the beyond body app and then there's google then we have reading um we have this pocket fm listen youtube had a bunch of ad recommendations for these and i came and i bought it and i actually did like it i just didn't keep up with it so i'm, a, I'm probably gonna reinstall it and like listen to something because listen they were kind of wild then we have wattpad i don't even read here on Watt, wattpad and then we, there's reddit i don't even use reddit like that i just have it here i don't i don't know and then we have games i don't even play games on my phone but i'm like i should definitely get some games on my phone for like whenever the wi-fi goes out or like whenever i'm just like bored i do not even have games on my phone it's kind of crazy but we just have ludo club this thing can get real intense okay it gets really intense but i do love this game then we have episode now y'all know if y'all know episode is so fun pick a word it's just a random app <laughs> then we have food since i am trying to eat healthy i deleted all my food apps because if they're on my phone i would definitely cave the only food app i have here is too good to go which is actually a great app like it helps save food waste so you don't know what you're getting they're pretty much mystery bags but they're also like really cheap so if you're just like feeling like spending like five dollars you could just go to tim hortons and they can give you like a big box basically when i went there they gave me like a box like that donut box and then like still more food on top i got like croissants donuts muffins all that stuff for like five dollars so it's pretty cool um and then over here we just have these i don't know just like some random apps so we have ovi then we have this dream app this was really good when you want to take a photo and basically change it into like a painting it's it was really cool i seen it trending on tiktok i ain't never used it and then we have tuned I, I don't even know what this is honestly like i just be downloading random apps and then over here we have lock it this is just an app that i have with my friends um and we just like share photos with each other on our home screen so this is just something that i took yesterday they didn't even go through then next over here for my last screen this is just a bunch of apps that i do not use i never go on this page for anything it's just on my phone maybe because i need it one day or something but i just don't go on this page i'm not gonna lie open table it's really good to use when you want to like go out and go places and then we have airbnb i have it on my phone because i don't know i know i'm gonna be traveling one day and one day i'm gonna just use airbnb so that's why it's here okay then we have the music app Kalarna, which is i do use this app though i just don't necessarily have to click on it that often i feel like it's the apps that i don't usually have to click on that often are right here and then we have the i am app which i don't click on this app like that because i already have the widget over there you know shortcuts then we have this trace app y'all i don't even know don't even know i don't even know and then we have keynote that's on my phone files apple store google reminders that's like all on iphone 
then we have link youtube this was supposed to be something where you could link your youtube channel and it will like go onto youtube but it don't work because you know how on instagram you can like link stories and then it'll like open up safari and then it's not actually on youtube this was supposed to do that but i tried it and it don't work so why y'all like and then next we have a certificate what is this okay yeah okay so this is my certification worker health and safety awareness in four steps that's on my phone then we have wallet measure this is just some extras these are all on iphone so it's compass tips contacts find my and then we got social media tools so there's collabs trend talk I don't know what that one is. Plano, like to know. You know what? We're just gonna skip that. So yeah, that is every single thing that I have on this phone. There's a lot of things on this phone. A lot of things not needed on this phone. So after filming this, I'm definitely gonna delete something. It's just like it's realistic to what's on my phone right now. Not everyone's phone is looking all cutesy and nice. That is it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.